The British Par 3 Championship from Nailcote Hall is an event steeped in history. European Tour Pro Carl Mason won in 99 with a course record that has never been bettered. Mark Mooland emulated his father Sid by lifting the trophy in 2008. Other winners include Robert Rock, Steve Cowell and the 2009 champion Steve Carter. And in 2010, the event will once again be hosted by British golf legend Tony Jacklin's CBE, celebrating the 40th anniversary of his US Open win. Here's your presenter, Willie Thorne. Welcome to Warwickshire to the Farm Foods British Par 3 Championship. Stars from stage, screen, television and sport flock to this magnificent Nailcut Hall to test their skills on this very demanding course. Thank you, Willie. Time for him to get his clubs and head out with the rest of the stars to play this unique event. The tournament has once again attracted a great field of pros here to battle it out for the title on the Cromwell course at Nailcut. Alongside the celebrity and amateur golfers also here to contest the various competitions and to entertain us along the way, not just with their golf. It's idyllic. I mean, it's uh, you know, Nailcoat Hall's its own. It's a little gem uh, out here in the middle of Warwickshire. Well, I think there's a nice atmosphere about it. It's uh, it's not intense pressure. There's an element of the garden party atmosphere about it. Quaint place for a start. You can drive in and you can see it's pretty low key fun. The celebrities and pros are all pretty relaxed about it. Everybody feels approachable, I think, here with the way things are run. Tony, you've got to get your right hand over you. I love having the Par 3 Championship here. It's a real joy. And I think particularly since uh, my partner's champions joined me three years ago, uh, we've really been able to take the, the whole event on from strength to strength with uh, a better and better field of professionals and also a wider and wider network of uh, fabulous celebrities and other corporate sponsors and businesses who've become involved in the event. big finish to a big day's play, but it didn't stop there. The stars were out in force for a magical evening of celebration. More entertainment followed, and before it got too late, the main prize of the day was presented as Team Derek Morris, Captain Peter, and his young golf sensations Elliot, Stefan and George collected their trophies from Tony Jacklin and Par 3 chairman Rick Gressman. Congratulations to our Celebam Day 2 winners and confirmation that they did indeed pip Nalcott Hall to the trophy by just a single point. Another trophy presented, leaving just one more title to claim, the British Par 3 Championship itself. 
confirmation then of our last leaderboard for the 2010 British Par 3 Championship and what a lineup of talent there was to grace that final page. Ryder Cup players, major winners and tour winners, all beaten in the end by Richard O'Hanlon to claim a trophy that he's been after for many, many years. Clayton Lucas is with the winner. I've been coming here for, for 10 years now. Um, I love the place. Um, I've, I've done pretty well. I finished third a couple of years ago, but um, to win it, is, is fantastic. I mean, this is you know the biggest event I've ever won. So, and to play against the European Tour players, you know, just makes it that extra special. Tony Jacklin and Rick Cressman were on hand to present Richard with the Bobby Jones Trophy and the traditional wheelbarrow full of cash to crown his magnificent victory. Here's Willie again. Well, what a fantastic finish to the Farm Foods British Par 3 Professional Championship. Richard O'Hanlon just holding off Mark Moonen to take the title. That's all from Nailcut Hall. Join us again next time.